Something not controversial now, huh? Hey guys, it's Slides Man 16, and I got all 12 of my PlayStation 2 games to review for you all. That is right, oh my god, look at all these games, there's so many games, I swear to god. Now, I'm gonna be reviewing them all for you, that's right. Now, here's the Warriors, first off. This is the latest game I got for the PlayStation 2, that's right. It's from Rockstar Games, my favorite game company. Not like any other. You know what I'm saying. The PlayStation 2, it's based off of the 1979 movie, The Warriors. <laughs> Surprisingly, same year. God, this thing's coming in dust. I swear I can play this. So, The Warriors. New York, 1979. Don't, don't remember his name, but God damn, what is wrong with me? I've been lied to. Anyway, the Warriors. It has 95 kilobytes. Kilobytes? Is that, is that how you say it? I don't fucking know. It's rated MA in Australia. A strong buy it. Strong course language. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I give it an 8.9 out of 10. Because <laughs> it's a Rockstar game. And speaking of Rockstar, we had another one called Canis Canem Edit. You can tell it's Bully. It's the same game as Bully, just, just with the name change. You do the exact same thing, it's just the name change for the PS2 version. Oh man, can this can edit takes a rock star true heart groundbreaking and original original gameplay and humorous tongue in cheek. What? Anyway, it's made by Rockstar Games. Rated M. You know the blue circle, blue circle M, not M A with the red hexagon or whatever. I don't really know my shapes. I didn't even learn anything at squat. I barely knew anything. I'm still graduating. I'm about to finish year 12 this year in less than six months. Anyway, it's rated M for moderate themes, violent and sexual references. Oh god. I wonder why the violence in th is in there. Maybe it's because it's called bully. Or oh, not, not for Pal. You see, see, Pal, Pal doesn't accept that name. It, it's Canis Kenem Edit. Bullshit. It's still bully in our hearts. But don't do bullying at school. Yeah. I'm a catch. Anyway, the next game is Shadow of Rome. It takes place in 44 BC. Well, suppose. It has, I've seen. Multiple other 40 something in the years of BC. Just this is what it said. This is all confusing, but anyway, Shadow of Rome made by Capcom. It was the most underrated, well, one of the most underrated games I released, but now everyone like me cares about this game. Yeah, it's rated 18. Well, for for Australia here, it is rated MA15+. Plus. Let's see what this... Oh, this is suitable for persons of 18 and over. Yeah, you can tell they had good English. Stupid. They were supposed to be smarter than the Americans. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Let's see. Can I skin him edit? 
Uh, not, I'm not even going to read out the memory because none of you all care about that anyway. So yeah, Capcom, good game. I'll try and play through it. it looks like you can also fight tigers in it too. So that was exciting. Should probably start with the first one. Manhunt. Everybody knows the review I did on Manhunt. If you haven't watched it, watch it right now. Nah, I'm not gonna make you. But anyway, Manhunt. Yep, it's in there. It's made by Rockstar Games. This is a, and look, this is a brutal blood sport. It definitely is. I played through the whole thing. Finished it. Even the piggy, pigsy, bit scared me whenever he appeared out of nowhere. Shows you how good of a game this is. Anyway, now the sequel. Manhunt 2, the most controversial game, video game of all time. By Rockstar Games. Oh, Manhunt, the original one, it's classified as an MA. Rare copies of it, though, of an Australian classification. While this one had no classification for Australia, because Australia, the Australian government were a bunch of pussies in 2008. Yeah. Yeah, I know this game came out in 2007, but that was America only. Pal didn't get this until the next year, and then the PC port a year after that. With the uncensored version. Rated 18. Contains very strong, bloody, and sadistic violence. Oh, you don't say. Hey. Anyway. The door to your cell is open. One choice, one chance. They took your life. Time to take it back. Here, yeah. you do. Great kids game. And Red Dead Revolver. Rated M A fifteen points. Medium level animated violence. So, Red Dead Revolver, the first in the Red Dead series. It's the only Red Dead game on the PS2. We got it's made by Rockstar Games. Check out the back of it. Yeah. You can even play two players on this. It's so incredible, this game. I'd highly recommend it. And here we have GTA 3, the first, the first game for, 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 not the first game for the PS2, the first GTA game on the PS2. Grand Theft Auto 3, it probably looks like nothing you're familiar with, well, except for the logos. This is an Australian car. MA15 plus high level animated violence. Oh no. Think of the children. <laughs> Made by Rockstar Games, obviously. And then on the back, yeah, it's 500 kilobytes. This thing is. It's incredible. Hell, this is like one gigabyte for PC, but. It's only 500 kilobytes on on the PS2. And then we got Grand Theft Auto Vice City. <sighs> Can't wait for GTA 6 to come out and see what Vice City's like. Anyway, so Grand Theft Auto Vice City. One of the most sold PS2 games of all time. Maybe 15 plus high level and maybe violent. It takes place in the 80s. Yeah, the 1980s. It's also 500 kilobytes. The player's time in the city is awesome. I need to get back on the PS2 games. I'm currently playing GT Online. And I bought a tank. 
and he is the most sold PS2 game of all time. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The best PS2 game of all time. MA15 plus for strong lines, strong course, language. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. You can even play two player. First GTA to play two player. Like one of the only ones. Well, so far. Yeah. Roxa, have you ever thought of doing two player? Like like the Lego games? In GTA? Oh my kid, Roxa would never watch this video. They'd never watch any of my videos. And then the PSP port got a PlayStation 2 port. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. MA15 Plus for a strong, violent, strong course language. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, Rockstar Games moved from South PSC. And the white, the white Rockstar. <laughs> Rockstar leads in the two. For the PSP and PS2. Hmm. And then, the last Grand Theft Auto game in the PS2, and the earliest back in time, 1984, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, the last one for, the last Grand Theft Auto game for PS2. Yeah, 1984, oh my god. It's all... I have all the, the Grand Theft Auto for the PS2 now. And then, last but not least, The Simpsons Hit and Run. Everybody says that this is a classic, and I wouldn't deny that, even though I never played it as a kid, but... but I, uh, <sighs> anyway, so The Simpsons Hit and Run. Classic game, obviously a parody of GTA. Which is why I bought it in the first place. Yeah. Oh my god. I just remember. I was giving. I gave. Warriors rating for. A rating. Forget it. I'm not doing this again. So yeah. Those are my PS2 games. Yeah.